Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you are all doing well in your respective places. Dear children, today we would like to discuss glossary and question answers of class 7 English second unit reading A that is C. V. Raman the pride of India. Dear children, as we discussed in the class about the famous well-known Indian scientist Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman was an eminent Indian scientist. He was the first scholar who studied holy in India. He was the first Indian scientist to receive the Nobel Prize in Physics. He was also the first Asian as well as the first non-white to receive the Nobel Prize. So from the childhood onwards, C. V. Raman was very very brilliant student. He was such a sharp and intelligent student. Now let us see the glossary of the lesson. Listen to me carefully. The very first one is here last in thought which means giving all your attention to something so that you do not notice what is happening around you. Transparent, it is an adjective which means allowing you to see through it. Sophisticated, it is an adjective which means advanced and capable. Equipment, it is a noun which means the things that are needed for a particular activity. Modification, it is a noun which means change. Discovery, it is a noun which means the process of finding something that was not known about before. Red letter day, it is an idiom which means an important day. Surgeon, it is a noun which means a doctor who is trained to perform surgery. Abroad, it is an adverb which means in or to a foreign country. Flag, it is a verb which means decline or become less. Stringed instrument, it is a noun which means any musical instrument with strings. For example, the violin, the sitar, etc. Harmonious. It is an adjective very pleasant. Knight. It is a noun which means a man of high social rank. A person with the title. Confine. Verb. To restrict. Now let us discuss question answers of this present lesson that is the cv raman the pride of india why cv raman was happy when he learnt that professor compton had won the nobel prize answer when cv raman learnt that professor compton had won the nobel prize he felt very happy because what professor compton wanted to prove was proved and Raman felt that he would also succeed in his effort. Question number two. That is, what does the Compton effect tell us? Answer. The Compton effect tells us that the nature of X-rays changes when passed through the matter, any matter, any object. The change was dependent on the kind of matter that is all depending on the kind of object. Now let us switch over to third question. What was Raman's advice to young scientists? Answer. C. V. Raman's advice to young scientists was to look at the world around them and not to confine themselves to their laboratories. He said that the essence of science is independent thinking. 
we should have independent thinking and hard work but not equipment so here hard work is the key to success we have to think we have to observe our surroundings very keenly very particularly so that uh, we will become a good scientist here the cv raman advised all sci young scientists that uh, we should have a keen observation we should not confine to laboratories or equipments so that is all depending on our uh, thinking or ability or capability or hard work next one which paragraph tells us about the hill health of cv raman answer paragraph number seven in the lesson tells us about the hill health of cv raman fifth one what was the challenging situation when cv raman started his experiment on light answer when cv raman started his experiment on light no sophisticated equipment was available in his experiment with equipment he could do the discovery by making sir here b by 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 making just you need to remove you by making some modifications in his experiment with equipment worth hardly rupees 200 and limited facilities raman made the discovery uh, dear children with the help of uh, only 200 rupees he did such miracle understand in those days the equipments were not at all available whatever the equipments are available in the laboratory that he did he did wonder he did miracle now let us move on to four sixth one what was the unseen force working behind Raman for reaching great heights? Answer. The unseen force working behind Raman for reaching great heights was his confidence, dedication and hard work in what he tied, what he tried to discover. His confidence was that he could discover with some modifications in his equipment and using the limited facilities made him very great. Now let us see seventh one. What was Raman effect? Here answer is Raman effect was that lightly changes its nature that light changes its nature when passed through a transparent medium here light uh, was that light changes light changes its nature uh, its nature when it passed or traveled through a transparent medium it was his discovery of new radiation describing the behavior of a beam or ray of light which is passing through a liquid chemical that is called Raman effect. Eighth one, if H. Compton had not invented the Compton effect, do you think Raman would have invented the Raman effect? Give your reasons. Yes, even if H. Compton had not invented the Compton effect, Raman would have invented the Raman effect. Because here, sorry, spelling wrong here, Raman. Here, T, you're just going to write down here, Raman. R A M A N. Raman was very optimistic, well confident, and dedicated scientist. He was not a dependent on equipment. He was not confined himself to his laboratory. He had independent thinking and was hard working and dear children he has such a motto he has such a burning desire towards his uh, uh, experiment okay now he always thinks uh, uh, independent thinking here hard work make one's great 
next one ninth one in what way was raman different from the other indian scientist justify your answer answer other indians want good and sophisticated equipment to carry out their experiment they confine themselves to their laboratories but c v raman was not dependent on equipment he had no sophisticated equipment in those days he did not confine himself to his laboratory unlike others he was hard working nature person and confident and uh, had independent thinking ability and looked at the world around him that is his passion that is his uh, good qualities good nature towards his observation next one fifth one if you were a scientist or if you were a scientist just you can remove here as if you were a scientist what would you do or what would you like to invent if i were a scientist i would like to invent a car that could run with the energy of sunlight but not with the diesel or petrol dear children here whatever you want to invent here you can write okay just here i would like to write here a car i would like to invent a car so that could run with the energy of sunlight but not by using diesel or petrol if whatever the a uh, machinery you want to use you can use that is your choice so that's all today thank you for watching my channel dear children once again you need to go through all the question answers and try to understand the question answers of this present lesson dear children if you are new to my channel please hit like button and subscribe and uh, you are supposed to click on bell icon to get more updates thank you have a great day stay safe stay secure stay healthy